Women are socialized so differently from men that many of the issues that come up, especially in the bedroom, are due to the way the woman has been socialized. If your wife seems reluctant or somewhat cautious about sex, she doesn't want to talk about it, things happen and she doesn't seem to really feel comfortable, she feels awkward talking about sex, it may cause you to kind of step back and your sex life is never what it could be if the two of you could communicate and talk about it. I've got simple suggestions that I'm going to offer you now as a sex therapist that can help your wife be more open, more receptive, and able to own not only how she feels, but be able to talk about it with you. Most of the problems stem in any kind of sexual issue or relationship between how much partners trust each other. And if your wife has been you know, been modeled for by men in her life in the past that haven't been caring for her, that haven't been good role models, you can bet that that's also going to play in to how she feels about her sex life. So the first step is communicate with your wife. Ask her how she feels. Ask her if there's any particular thing she wants you to do more of or less of. Ask her to help you be a better lover or in a, in a nicer way, ask her what you can do that's going to make her feel more loved and cherished. Sometimes these things aren't sexual. Sometimes these are tasks. Depending on what her love language is, it may not be a way of being touched, but rather than just start back or get defensive, sit back and really listen to what she's saying. If someone says, I want you to help more with the chores, what they're really saying is, I feel overwhelmed. I'm exhausted. I can't even think about sex because I can't get my mind off what needs to be done. Secondly, listen to your partner. It's very important that when you talk, you listen not only to her words, but to the silence. And you watch her face when she says something. Sometimes women will talk to you, but they'll go around the issue because they're afraid that your feelings will be hurt. They may say something like, I've really never felt someone, I've never really felt a physical sensation that made me want to have sex again. That means whatever you're doing, you should stop and you should reconsider maybe the way I'm making love to her is not what she needs at all. And we, I've just done it out of frustration because it's always what I've done. Thirdly, let your wife take control. I think this is so important that you give her an opportunity. Does she like being on top? Does she like being on the bottom? Does she like the side? Does she like to kiss first? Does she like to neck? Does she like to just cozy up on the couch and just have that time with you to escape her other life? What makes her feel sexy? And can she take control of that? Maybe she knows exactly how to orgasm, but she hasn't done it because she feels nasty or she feels like she's gonna hurt your feelings. Maybe she's afraid of unleashing that and she feels it's better if she just doesn't talk about it. But we all know when couples don't talk about things, they're missing a real opportunity for intimacy. And that's what having a close relationship is all about. Move slowly. There's no rush. Orgasm is not the answer. What the answer is, is that the two of you love going to bed together, that you love being naked next to each other, that you love being committed to each other and you feel trust from each other. If your partner's been through some kind of cancer, for example, and has had a body part distorted or removed, it can make them feel reluctant about being nude. Something as simple as suggesting maybe a camisole or let's go shopping and we'll get something that's light that you feel can feel comfortable in and you don't have to be naked. There's a lot of issues with women being nude from our upbringing. We, many women were taught to be modest or you know, do things in a way that they didn't share them, their nudity with their partner. Breaking through that can be very difficult. You must be patient and take it slow. And lastly, compliment her. Women oftentimes feel very bad about the way their body looks, very low self-esteem with their body. This is because so much coming in tells women how they should look, that there's 
a certain, a specific look for beautiful, reminding your wife that you love her and you think she's beautiful. And then being able to comment on what area you love most about her. Is it her eyes? Is it the way her the sun is shining on the highlights of her hair? Is it her neck? Is it her shoulders? Is it her breasts? What part of her do you really love? And remembering to remind her of that every day. Maybe it's the way she connects with people. Maybe it's the way she nurtures others, including your children. Those things are very important that you mention them, that they make up this whole sexual woman in front of you. Most of the time when I see couples and they have a sexual problem, whether it's not enough sex or one partner is totally withdrawn from the other, it goes back to what we learned at the beginning. You have to talk about your sex life. Couples who talk about their sex life have a better sex life, but that means they need to trust you. They need to know you won't make fun of them or you won't share what they tell you that they're feeling vulnerable about.